Here we have a problem that we're asked to complete square on. The completing square is a pretty important tool to solve a quadratic equation that, like the one we have here. So what we need to do is this, minus 6x, let's move the constant into the other side. So basically I added 15 on both sides. Okay, so here then what we're going to do is we're going to add a magic number. Since I add a number on one side, I need to add another on the other side so I don't disturb the equal sign to begin with. And the number we're going to put in there that's magical is this. You're going to take half of the coefficient in front of you, square it. So in our case, this is a f uh, 9. Because half of the 6 minus 6 is 3. 3 minus 3 squared is, is um 9. So I have a 9 on each side are added. The reason I want to do that is because now with this magic number in here, I have a perfect square. Thus the name completing square. Okay, this is a 9. So I have x minus 3 squared is equal to 15 plus 9, or x minus 3 squared is equal to 24. Okay, so this is completing square. From here, if you want to solve it, you can say x minus 3 is equal to plus minus 24, and so on and so forth. So you can solve it from there. Let's take a look at another problem that's a little more complicated, this time with a coefficient in the front of x squared term. Now what do we do? Okay, So well, we still do the same thing. We're going to move the constant into the other side. Okay, now. This is where it gets a little more complicated. I'll dot it into this new box here. We need to pull the coefficient of x squared out first. The reason is that when we complete the square, if we have a coefficient, it gets really tedious quickly and really messy. So on the test, chances of getting you wrong is a lot higher than if you pull the 3 out. And here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a magic number and subtract a magic number. Some students ask me, how come I'm subtracting over here where before I was adding? Now notice when I was adding before, I was adding on both sides of the equal sign. Okay, think of the equal sign as a mountain. Okay, So if you do one side to the mountain, you got to do the other side. Now here, I didn't cross the mountain. I'm still on the same side. So if I add something, I've got to subtract it right away. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to take a 4 and a square. I'll take the coefficient of this term, a square. In our case here, I have a 4. Okay, so added 4, I put it a 4, subtract it out. From here, I'm going to um, factor that. So the, here's the step that's a little messy that you need to put in there before you can go on to... Um, complete this finish complete square so here I have x plus 2 squared minus 4 equal to 36 okay here now you see why I have to pull the 3 out see all I did is completing square inside of my safe environment of the bracket and now I'm just gonna distribute my 3 inside the bracket okay I can keep track of it this way a lot easier equal to 36 I'm gonna do 3 x plus 2 squared is equal to, I'm going to add a 12 on this side, so I have a 48. Okay, I'm going to divide it by 3, because there's a common factor in there. Square plus 2 is equal to 1 and a 6. So in our case, it's really easy. x plus 2 is equal to plus minus 4. And from here, you can solve. All right? Have a confident day.